Everyone, welcome back to this fine channel of mine. Today we're going to be reacting to Elvis Presley performing Poke Salad Annie Life in 1970 at the International Hotel in Las Vegas. Now this is the full version. There is a version that is like a minute shorter uh, that isn't quite complete. So we're going to be reacting to this song. I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. You can leave your thoughts in the comments down below and let's jump right into it. Already like the bass line. What are you looking at back there? Huh? Yeah, what you looking at? I want to know. Some of y'all never been down south too much. I'm gonna tell you a little story so that you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now, Elvis was from the south, from from Memphis, Tennessee, was his hometown. He was born in Tupelo, Mississippi. And um, this song makes a lot of sense. I've listened to the original by Tony Joe White. He has a really real southern accent. I think Elvis tried to get rid of his southern accent uh, to fit into the mainstream. Uh, you can hear his southern accent in, in 1956 when he did Las Vegas, and that didn't really work out well for him. So I think he tried to tone it down a bit. He could have gone full southern, but he didn't. But I, I think this, this song is a perfect choice for him because Elvis grew up dirt poor uh, in the projects in, in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, he lived right across a, a Baptist, Black Baptist church where he went to, to, to choirs, to all all-night singings. Um, there's a good documentary uh, on YouTube called um, Elvis and the Black Community, uh, The Echo Will Never Die, I think it's called. Uh, uh, maybe I'll react to it later. Uh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, let's get right into the song. Sorry for going on rant. Um, let's go. Now I know I have a plant that grows out in the woods and the fields. And it looks something like a turnip green. And everybody calls it folk salad. And that's poke salad. Poke. Yeah. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, hut, two, four. Hut, hut, two, three, four. I'm clapping with him. <laughs> he was a big goofball. Yeah, yeah, he was goofy. Oh. I learned in the army. What the hell, man? Anyway, I used to know a girl lived down there. <laughs> She'd go out in the evenings and pick a mess of it, and carry it home, and cook it for supper. That's about all they had to eat. But they did all right. Down in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Where the alligators grow so mean. Lived a girl that I swear to the world made the alligators look pink. Oak salad, Annie. You got your granny. Everybody said it was a shame. Because her mama was a working on the chain gang. A mean, vicious, straight razor toting woman. Lord have mercy. <laughs> God. <laughs> Every day before supper time, she'd go down by the truck patch and pick her a mess of poke salad and carry it home in a toast sack. Poke salad, honey. Coffee. You got your granny. Everybody said it was a shame Cause a mama was a working on a chain gang Yo. You suck a little pussy oh. I wish I could do that <laughs> She wishes it too <laughs> Now, I think that's the director's note that he got, or it's the lyrics. Who knows? My daddy was lazy and no count. Claimed he had a bad back. All her brothers were fit for. She left watermelons out on my truck. Patch, folks, Saturday. 
Jesus got you ready. Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was a working on the chain gang You oh. suck a little salad No one needs Suck a little He's in full control. Help! You're right, you're right. He wasn't. The drummer corrected the beat. Simple little folk No one need me or mess. Sock a little. No one need me or mess. Sock a little. Sock a little. What a song. Thank you. What a song that was. Poke Salad Annie by Mr. Elvis Presley, performed at the International Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Obviously, this was a great song. I know the original by Tony Joe White, which is, uh, I think there's a funk version of the song, which I don't really like. I, th I think I like Tony Joe White's original version more, but this is obviously a better version because it has a lot more energy and um, it's just a performance piece for, for the whole band. I mean, James Burton was throwing out some great licks. Ronnie Tutt was the man of the hour here with his drum work. Although he got, um, he got missed some beats, but that's Elvis moving. <laughs> he had to follow Elvis's moves. And Jerry Schiff, the bass player, uh, who played only with his index finger, uh, and he played real fast. Um, his son, Jason Chef, was the lead singer and bassist of the band Chicago for quite a while. Um, in case you didn't know, bass playing is in the whole family. So, that was this song. Leave your thoughts down below. Maybe leave a like as well. Subscribe to this channel. If you like to, you don't have to. I don't force you to do anything. Um, otherwise, there would be extortion. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Anyway, leave your thoughts down below, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Peace.